just to put this into perspective, okay. you are one game away from one million dollars. <laughs> I know. How, it's crazy. How um, I think coming into this tournament, I think everyone in this tournament is so competitive and you want to win, but until I think you get to this moment, it doesn't really like come into reality. Like if we win, it's like I want to win regardless, but then when you win and it could be a million dollars, it's a big deal. So it's pretty crazy. It's pretty insane. It's surreal. Now, on, on top of all of that right now, you are in the lead for the gold boot for this whole, for this one side of this tournament. Oh my god, I didn't even know that. I think, I think you've had... <gasps> That's crazy. This is your, I want to say, second game with two goals, I want to say. Oh, okay. You, yes, you yes, goal. maybe, maybe. Um, so, <laughs> what has worked so well for you in this tournament um, playing for NC Courage? Honestly, of course, you can't you can't be a striker and score goals without your teammates. Like you're never, it's never gonna work. It's never you're never gonna find the back of the net just by yourself. But I've pre I've had a lot of preparation for this. I wasn't in retirement. I haven't just been sitting around. I've been really training really hard with next level training back in Michigan. So um, just the preparation, hard work, and you know sometimes you need a little bit of luck. So I've worked hard for it, but sometimes a little bit of luck, you're in the right place, right time. So feeling really blessed. I mean, it's crazy. Now, how, how did, just in freaking make on this perspective, but how did you get involved with this team? What what exactly happened there? Did Jessica just reach out to you? How did you get to this point? Actually, as I mentioned, uh, Next Level Training in Michigan, Jess came to train because she's now living in Michigan. So met her, trained with her probably for about a month. Um, and then she was like, Maddie, do you want to play? And I was like, of course I want to play. Like, it's awesome. It's an honor. So um, really just having to be at the right place at the right time. Did you ever see... Back when that conversation was initially had, did you ever see it come to this moment here? Was this something you could envision? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Not that I'm, you know, doubting myself, but I would not have thought like, okay, we're going to be in the championship. We're going to play for a million dollars. I've had five goals, so I'm feeling really lucky. And, and then now you're in a position here where um, I, I think what's kind of cool, you're wearing Nancy Courage's, you know, colors. Yes. You're playing at Wake Med Soccer. Yes. Right? Yeah. It's, is, that, is that something that feels special No. Oh, my God. Super special. Super special. I mean, like, we're in Cary. We're at Wake Med. We're wearing the blue. Like, it's it's a great moment. It's just, like, so surreal. And especially for Jess. Like, we just all look up to her and value her so much. Like, respect the hell out of her. So, um, for her to be here and we're, us to take help take her to the finals, it's amazing. Can you take me through that first goal? It looked like the keeper kind of got stuck a little bit far out. You were able to get it up over Oh, that was all Jess. A little bit of pressure. Ball came rolling out. And I'm like, okay, do not miss over. Just hit it on frame. So, that first one, it's just pressure from her. Came back and I'm like, and she's like, hit it and I'm like all right clip it right over so that's that perfect um, is there anything else about this moment right now that I feel to mention that you'd like to add uh no just really lucky everyone on this team is unbelievable just different backgrounds different ages different stories so I'm feeling lucky to play with all of them and hopefully we win a million dollars tomorrow so thank you so much